Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a shell reading for the sign of Aquarius, my little star babies, my aliens. So first off, I just want to say how much I love you guys. I love Aqua so much. I know I'm being biased, but I don't care. My fellow Aquas, I adore you guys to the moon and back. There hasn't been an Aquarian that I have not like met and instantly fell in love with. I love you guys so bloody much. So this is going to be shell reading for you guys. Yes, I did say shell reading. Um, I do practice different forms of divination. Um, not only do I do the oracles and the tarot that you guys are used to me doing on the monthly, I also do palmistry. I do casting of bones. I do reading auras. I do tea leaf readings. I do, um, did I say palmistry? Um, gosh, it's quite a few things <laughs> I can't remember. Um, crystal gazing as well. Um, Anyways, I do, I do other forms of divination, rune readings, which I have done videos before. Anyhow, um, I just thought it would be fun to incorporate the shell readings into your monthly. So I will definitely be back with the Tarot and Oracle, of course. But I just kind of wanted to spice it up. I know we kind of get bored easily sometimes. Um, so, and we love learning, so why not, right? Um, so this is how it's going to work. Um, in front of you, there is an amethyst, there's a tiger's eye, and then there's a uh, pink quartz. So first off, I want you to choose one of those, okay? Whichever one you feel more connected to, all right? And then I want you to meditate over a question, say it in your mind, and then if possible, say it out loud. And then after you do that, whoever chose the amethyst, I will cast my shells and that will be your answer and so on and so forth. The possibilities here are um, a strong yes, a strong no, um, a maybe, like um, not gonna happen kind of thing. Um, yes, and it'll happen quickly. And um, well, there's a few more actually, to be honest, but this is what I'm gonna go with to simplify it with you guys, okay? And uh, as always, thank you so much for all your support by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I do read every comment. I do respond. And I so appreciate you guys taking time to watch my humble videos. I know there's so many great astrologers and readers. And you guys are taking time to watch my videos. And I so appreciate you, especially knowing that you're Aquarius. And I have my tribe, my people with me. And um, I have a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here. Same name, Moon Girl, Taron Morton. I would so appreciate you guys heading over there giving a like and a follow. Um, you can always reach me there on Messenger. I do respond pretty quickly. Uh, you can also leave me a comment if you like. Um, you can message me there for any kind of questions or to book or any type of reading. Um, and if you guys would like to bless my channel, you can totally tip or donate through Facebook Pay on my page as well. And um, so let's get started. Give me about a minute to meditate over these shells and then I'll start with Amethyst and then we'll go forward, okay? So I feel like this is going to be a no. Okay, guys? Hmm. For some of you, this is a for sure no. Like a for sure no turning back kind of no. Okay, so I don't know exactly what you asked. But for some of you, not only is it a no, it's like a for sure no. No coming back from something, all right? So I'm sorry if that wasn't the best news for some of you. Now I'm going to move forward to Tiger's Eye. So again, same thing. Give me about a minute to meditate over the shells. It's going to be a yes, guys. I feel that that was actually really good news for somebody. Really, really good news. I feel, I feel, I see somebody like jumping up and down, actually, to be honest. 
Um, okay, now we're going to move forward to the rose quartz. All right, so again, same thing. Give me about a minute to meditate over this. I'm seeing a library or lots of books. I don't know if this is resonating with somebody, but library, lots of books, doing research, reading about something, um, an actual book book, I think. Okay, let me just continue. Okay, guys, so I feel like this is going to be, um, I think that this is going to be a no, guys, okay? And I'm also getting for some of you, um, and this might not even have anything to do with the shells. Uh, for some of you, I do feel you're still like, having a hard time letting go of something. Um, however, I do feel that there's going to be some major shifts, some major changes. I do feel somebody coming back towards you that they were kind of iffy about you or you were iffy about them. I feel like you were already kind of letting go of a certain person, but this person is making a turnaround. They might just hit you up with something small, but I do feel that uh, somebody is coming uh, towards you, turning around. They might have left you out in the cold before, but I do feel that they're making a turnaround. Ooh. And I'm going to pull out an oracle for you, okay? This oracle may not have anything to do with whatever you ask, but I want to leave you with some guidance. I want to leave you with, um, you know, these healing with angels oracle cards. So give me a minute. And mind you, what I said earlier, it does not necessarily have to be um, a relationship, like a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be any type of relationship. It could be a family member, an old friend, work situation. Um, in this case, I it, to me, it's not necessarily a love thing. But for some of you, I feel it is. But definitely not all. I'll tell you that much. For some of you, this is actually work-related. I feel like somebody's ear is kind of burning right now. Okay. We do have music. So some of you are actually very musically inclined or really do enjoy listening to music. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you guys actually might even be in a band or probably some kind of instrument. But what I'm really getting from this is Spirit really wants you to um, play the music, play music, listen to music, whatever helps you through the day. Um, especially if you're having a bad day, I feel like some of you definitely put on some music, relaxes you. Um, so do what makes you happy. If that's what's making you happy, that's what's relaxing you, making you feel good about yourself, making you, you know, um, unwind and definitely do that. But for some of you, I do feel that uh, music is something very important. Uh, I feel that you are definitely going to be getting attention with music. If you are a musician of any sorts, people are definitely going to be keeping an eye on you. You are definitely catching people's attention. Um... Yeah, you are definitely catching people's attention for sure. Dreams. 
please pay attention to your dreams, okay? Not only do you pay attention to your dreams, what you dreamt, but please pay attention to whatever it is that you felt when you dreamed this, whether it be whatever it is that you did dream, how it made you feel, that's something that you really need to pay attention because I do feel that you are getting messages through your dreams, especially because you are an Aquarius, you are very in tune, uh, you are very um, empathic, and a lot of you are definitely very intuitive. New beginnings. There's definitely new beginnings here for you guys. I feel great abundance, uh, new opportunities. Um, yeah, I feel like you are going to get so much attention and a lot of new beginnings here. Okay, so whatever it is that you are trying to manifest, please continue to try to manifest this because it is going to come to pass. And this is what I have for you, Aqua. So thank you so much. Again, if you did enjoy this, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up so I can continue to incorporate it in your readings. And as always, thank you so much for our support. And I love you so much, my little aliens, my star babies, my space child children. <laughs> and stay magical. Bye, guys.